Hi, I'm Michael at Omnivos Therapeutics, and this is a beginner's video on how to use tuning forks. If you have not seen it, you may want to watch my Introduction to Tuning Forks video first. We'll first talk about unweighted tuning forks. Unweighted tuning forks are used by the ears and around the body. You can put them on the body, but the subtle vibration of the unweighted fork will probably not be felt physically. If I am sitting, I'll activate a unweighted tuning fork by tapping against my tibia. I usually tap about one third from the top of the fork. If I'm standing, I will use a puck. I keep the puck in my pocket to muffle the sound of the fork against the puck. I do this to preserve the quiet space I'm trying to create. Practice tapping a tuning fork until you understand how hard you need to tap. Too soft and you will not hear the tone, and too hard, you'll get what's called a clang tone. It's a very sharp, high-pitched noise, and you'll know it when you hear it. With most unweighted forks, a tone will last up to a minute or longer. This will vary depending on the frequency. The higher the frequency, the shorter the tone. As a guide, a 256 Hz tuning fork will ring for about 60 seconds or more. You can also try tapping two tuning forks together to create harmonics. You can also tap several tuning forks together. Now let's talk about weighted tuning forks. Weighted tuning forks are used by the ears and on the body. You can bring them around the body as well. Weight at the end of each prong is what causes the vibration to extend through the stem of the fork onto the body. To activate a weighted tuning fork, tap the flat part of the weight against the palm of your hand, pinky side. This will take some practice. If you're not getting a strong vibration, try using a flicking motion as if you're flicking water off your fingers. You will know you get it right when the vibration lasts more than a few seconds. If you are having trouble, tap the fork hard enough so that the weights touch and make a sharp noise. Then just tap slightly less until you've got it. They are very effective on joints, bones, muscles, and nerve groups, acupuncture points and meridians, or on either side of the spine. Try placing one tuning fork on the body. Also try using two tuning forks, placing the stems close to each other. And you can also try placing two tuning forks apart to create a vibratory connection. Be careful not to place a tuning fork near a recently broken or fractured bone. The strong vibration near the bone can be painful. A weighted tuning fork will last anywhere from 8 to 15 seconds, again, depending on the frequency. To get started on your own, sit for 15 minutes a day in front of a mirror. Listen to see how long each tone lasts. This will tell you if you are tapping too hard or not hard enough. Experiment with how close or far the forks are from your ears. Usually three to four inches is a good distance. Try spinning the fork with your fingers to see how that affects the tone. For more product information on sound therapy with tuning forks, please visit omnivos.com slash education or omnivos.com slash getting dash started. Feel free to email or call us with questions.